Alrighty. Hi, my name is Grunald Kaga with uh, Critical Effect. I'm going to do another little video on how we do our mapping. Yeah, a little bit of uh, scanning, backslash scouting. Now, uh, before I begin, I'm kind of trying to do this all in a one take. So, it's going to be fun. If you see some random cuts, it's just me cutting some gibberish or whatnot. Um, while we begin, on the screen, you'll see right about here above my mouse is my secondary screen it's where I have my map uh, it's got that on the main screen for you guys uh, I got my solar system map here probe scanner here my D scans right here I kind of have my overview covered but I got the just the basics showing and my save locations if you don't use save locations i recommend you do just click l it's a very useful thing to have it's instead of right clicking and doing all this junkus you just see it all from there Ooh, where to begin all right let's start with pathfinder now over here on pathfinder we will see that we have our b chain unscanned someone went in clicked on it and did not scan it for some reason Nonetheless, we are, we're going to go scan that. We scroll down, we can see that inside the B, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight unknown anomalies, a bunch of combat sites, some ore. You can see on the kill board that it's been active um, three hours ago by some half decent sized groups. Apparently, this is a hole control renter hole, and if we look at the structures, there's a bunch of structures. That being said, my alt's in here, and I know there is more structures, so we'll go ahead and update this intel. Um, I'm not curious about routes right now, but from here, I know Amar is basically nine jumps away, to Dixie 12, Heck 12, Jita, going through Thera uh, 17, but it's not something we're interested in. So that's a little rundown of all the stuff that I look at before I hop in. Now that I'm gonna go hop in, we can see I am circling the hole right now. Let's go ahead and get on in there. Now this is a Hulk Control Renter group, and they are a pretty big group. So I'm gonna cloak up right when I get in after I drop my probes. I am not gonna sit on my probes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, do that. Let's get off this. Looking at the map, we can see if I go back to D-Scan. This is why you always have your D-Scan open, it auto-scans for you every time you jump a hole. Let's go ahead and warp on over to their structure, let's check that. Now note, someone already populated this hole, they just didn't scan it out. So the star home's already uh, bookmarked here. If it wasn't, this is where I would have uh, bookmarked the star home before warping off. Being that I'm the one that has to scan down this entire system, the star home leaves this nice little bookmark, which is like, in my opinion, like the, the free space on a bingo card. Because I can see how it's in a cluster of other things. I don't want to scan it down and end up being the star home. I could easily just, with it set very low, instantly scan it. I'm checking the structures, empty, empty, and empty. All right, let's get scanning. Now let's start with updating Intel. I'm going to do on my D scan, control A, control C. I'm going to go over to my Pathfinder. We're going to do D scan reader, control V to paste, update Intel, and voila. I believe this is all the same group. Let me check. Yeah, it is. It is the same group, so I'm not going to go and fill in owner. But I think we're good there. Yeah, we're good there. All right, time to start scanning. Fun part. So as I said, my free little bingo space. Let's go ahead and put that there. Put that there. Drag it on over. And let's just, might as well do the smallest one. Now I'm gonna work back because I wanna figure out what the type is. I don't believe uh, the type has been filled in. No, it has not been filled in. I want to fill that in. So while we warp on over, let's continue scanning. At this point, in case I run into another wormhole, I like to just copy paste all my probe scanner from here. 
because then when I put into Pathfinder, I know that the only wormhole right now is the star home, and I'll mark it star home. Warping up to it, I can see its type is a K162. It's a dangerous because it leaves back to our hole, which is a C4. Continuing scanning, let's go ahead with this. In case you don't know, if the, the line ones are always the ball that's farther away, you can then shorten your range. Let's just get that a little closer, they tend to be finicky. Now I do know, see, look, another wormhole. Um, I do know there's a guaranteed high sec static inside this hole based off Pathfinder, and I'll show you how I know that in a second. Do control A, control C, and control V on the signatures. I don't know what it is yet or what to call it, so I'll leave that blank for now. But if I come back up here, we'll see that it tells me there's a high sec static. And I'm betting this might just be it. Warp 2 at 70, and continue scanning. Now I always do 8, 2, and then 1. If it's a cluster, an 8 will cause them all just to go down to 2, so then I can just 2 the rest, which is a nice little uh, trick. There might be better ways, but I'm not. 100% professional at this. Our CEO bloody murders these out pretty quickly, but I am not him. Looking at this K162, all right, that's interesting. Let's check what type, unknown. All right, so it's a K162 unknown, which means it leads to a C4 or something. This is our B chain, the first wormhole we found, so it's gonna be B1. Now I'm gonna name this location, save location. We're gonna name it B2, B1. B chain, the uh, dot in two days, submit. Oh, next, next signature I found is a, another wormhole. Great. Control A, Control C, Control V into Pathfinder. I don't know what it is, so I'm not filling it in yet. Start home needs a space in front of it. Needs a full rename, actually. There we go. Let's go ahead and warp onto that one. Head over to this cluster, start scanning this down. Come on. Should be descanning a little bit more. Descan never hurts you. Ooh, look at that frick hole. Gross. It's probably a OE04. So, checking the type. Oh, by the way, I got the this little info bar I got right behind here. That's where I'm reading that info from. So I hovered, got info, and it's saying it leads to unknown. So that's gonna be B2, save location, B2, B2. It's inside the B chain, check. Let's go over to Pathfinder, it's named as B2. Just type in E to search, E04, there it is, it's a C1. But because this is special, I'm also gonna name it Frig. Submit. Let's see, we've got a gas site going over here. And the reason I changed the name here is so everyone warp into it knows they're warping into a frig hole. And the reason I put a space is because it'll force the wormholes to go to the top of the list. Once I start getting like this gas site here, you'll see the gas site will go to the bottom. It doesn't really matter for the B chain and A chain because the A will always be at the top. But once you get to like the D chain, It'll slowly start getting lost in the clusterfuck of bookmarks. Now I'm not going to warp to this. It's a gas site. Warping to it will cause the uh, sleepers to start their timer and spawn. I saved it to B sites. I put G for gas and then I saved its uh, given name. Continue scanning here. Still looking for that high sack. Haven't found it. Control A, Control C, and Control V here for you guys. It's going to update with that gas site. Again, always choose the furthest one. There we go. 
There we go. A little D scan in there. Nothing around me. Run away, little girl. Okay. The Alaskan pipeline. Oh god. Data site. So when I save this name, it's going to get a little D in the front to indicate data site. Helps organize when you get a bunch of these. Helps organize them by type. Really nice. And for new bros, when they don't know exactly uh, what certain things are, the little letter indicates to them gas site, relic site, data site. Again, uh, I'm not going to warp to it because you don't really have to. This one's not going to spawn any timers or anything. Uh, Central also doesn't have any NPCs, so it's not dangerous. I'm just not going to warp to it. No need. Now, as I said earlier, when they don't have that ring around them, you can just scan it at 2 instead of 8. little shortcut right there. So scanning at 2 for the rest of these. One of these is going to be the high sec, possibly another wormhole. Oh, there we go, another wormhole. Come on, high sec, high sec. Give me a Jita. Give me a Jita. Start home is great because anywhere you are inside the chain, you don't have to figure out where you are to figure out how to get home. You just follow the star home and you get home. Go ahead and warp, control A, control C, and control V into Pathfinder. Again, don't know what it is, so not filling it in until I get there, and I'll just continue scanning. Damn, how many spawns was that? Was that spawns? I don't know. I don't think that was spawns. For a second, they didn't highlight. Look at that. Beautiful high sec. So this is the first high sec or known space route. So when I save location, it's going to be B to BK1, first known sec. It's going to go inside the B chain. Submit. Come down to here in Pathfinder, BK1. It's D... Voila, there it is for me. And that's filled in. There's another wormhole. There we go. Finish scanning this down. Now you notice how I don't save this thing, which is what happens if you save the inside the probe scanner, or not the probe scanner, the solar system map. If you save this, you warp to this. So when you want to warp to zero of the hole, you end up warping to zero of the uh, signature, which is not what you want, which is why I warp to them, figure out what they are, name them appropriately. And last site, or last anomaly. Control A, Control C, Control V. Not many uh, data relic gas sites on this hole. A lot of wormholes. Ooh, uh, EOL hole. EOL frig hole at that. Info, it's an A09. A009. Ooh, C13, that's a shattered hole on the other side. Uh, this is going to be D3, Frig, EOL. Oh, just name it B3 here. I said D, it's supposed to be B. Save location. B2, B3, Frig, EOL. Again, that's just info for people to know kind of what's going on with that hole. Man, let's warp to this last signature, last wormhole. Now, for these frig holes, I'm in a legion right now. So for these frig holes, I got my alt in the system and I'll have him populate. I'll show you how you populate with your alt when you uh, are like me and you your main uses a cruiser. You want to switch between accounts. Nonetheless, let's get to this last one and name him. Pull in my scan probes now. Let's make sure that's all of them. Yep. K162 again. K162 dangerous. Dangerous. This is going to be B4. Nothing special about it. So save location. B2, B4. In case you haven't followed along on the naming systems, it's the system you're in to the system you're going to. 
as you can see they're all nice and in order so voila that is all those sites control a control c just to make sure and boom so that's uh scanning them down and naming them correctly and getting the names correctly inside uh pathfinder now it's time to begin populating uh, i can populate everything but the frig holes and i'm just going to populate one of these for you and then i'll speed through and cut to the la last one so i'm going to warp to zero b1 now the great thing about pathfinder is that it auto populates on the map for you when you have your character synced uh, my character is synced to my main, the one uh, you're seeing on the screen. So as I jump this hole, the new signature will appear somewhere around here. Or a signature of the new hole. I'm going to enter. The first thing I always do is save this way home, check the D-scan, see what's around me. I don't immediately drop probes. So save location, star home with a space. Voila, control A, control C. Now I go over on Pathfinder. See how it generated the new hole for me, and I'm in it. Now the name is the last name saved, uh, which is from previous times when you rename things, but this is now B1, so I need to rename it to B1 by double clicking the name. I can then scroll down, laser delete, control V, boom. I can check here that there's been no activity past 11 hours, but some dude messed up some miners, and there's not too much to scan, and it's a guaranteed high sec also, so that's nice. Now if I right click this connection, I can add that it's a large connection. I like to add all the info that I can, so that includes the path connection. And as you can see, top left corner, I'm running out on my time, so cloak up here, and move. Now for the sake of populating, this is where I would end. If I'm not going to scan this, I would go back to Pathfinder, set status, unscanned, and that lets everyone know that this system is unscanned. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish populating the rest of the holes, and I think, depending on time, I might scan out this hole too for you. Alrighty, um, at this point I've populated all of the holes that my ship can populate. The rest are frig holes, so I'm going to go on my alt and do that. In order to do that, top left hand corner, it's currently cut off from the screen, but you'll see your icon with your name. You click that. You can see now that I can switch to my alt. I click that. And once you're in your alt, it'll switch. Now your alt's your reference one. I come over active location, Marcus Pathana, he's in B. Now any hole he jumps will actually uh, log it. So I'm going to continue with Marcus. Alright, so as my ult is jumping through to the other side, we can see it populates. Ooh, look, another guaranteed high sec. He just jumped into B2. Now on this connection, it's very important for the smaller connections is that you indicate when it's a frigate hole by doing an S, small frigate, and that'll save someone a trip. <laughs> Sadly my old screen is not on the main screen, sorry about that, but I'm doing the same as always on Pathfinder, I'm putting in the information, I'm saving, you're not seeing this right now, but I'm saving the star home inside B chain. And then I head on back and do the same for the next one. All right, I got my alt up here. Um, as I populate this, it's pretty dangerous. It's EOL as fuck, but I'm gonna do it anyways so I can show you guys on Pathfinder. Quickly grab all, control C, 
save location, star home, ah, star home, and get back. As I called earlier, it is indeed a shattered. That is going to be B3. It is a frigate hole, and it's EOL. So I can right click toggle EOL and let everyone know with that little purple indication that it is EOL. And let's finish with the pasting signatures. Okay, so you gave me that warning because by the time I started pasting, I was already back inside B. I was no longer in that system, but just a heads up on that warning. All right, so that's uh, scanning, populating, and utilizing Pathfinder. I hope that covers just about everything on Pathfinder. Well, I guess something I can talk about uh, is utilizing this information. So let's say I logged in one day inside our hub. Yeah, let me make this bigger for you guys if I'm going to talk about it. So if I logged in on Hub and I want to see what's around me to do, if I'm a ratter, I can click around. I would never rat more than two jumps away, but if I'm a ratter, I can group. And now I can see all the combat sites, which is nice. I can see if there's a local effect. This one has no local effect. This one does. If I hover, it says Pulsar, lets me know all the info on it. Um, if I'm a relic kind of person and I want to go find some data sites, I can click here, group, scroll down. Oh, this one has a buttload of gas. If I'm a huffer, this is a great place to go to. Data sites. Here's some data sites. They're unsecured, so they're not good data sites. Any relic sites? No. Nothing great there. So if I'm a relic person, just keep looking for two seconds. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, that's C4, that's why. C3, group. Data site, boom, central blood raider. Now I know if I want to go do that, I just walk over and I go do it. It's that easy. Um, basically, the whole idea is that one person goes and scans everything, and all that information is now shared for everybody. Now, with all that stuff I just made, I might need to go sell it at some trade hub. If I click hub, I can come up to routes, and I can see, okay, oh, Mars this far away, Jita's this far away. Do you know, I believe, Niarja? Yeah, this is a current known issue. Niarja is still on here. Niarja is no longer a member of known space. It's now a member of uh, Trigolavian space. Just be aware about that. Um, but if I go up here and say, oh, I want to sell my stuff at a Mar, the trick I do, because it doesn't really tell you by the name, it tells you the J numbers, which doesn't help when you use naming systems. Um, you just hover this one, and I'll tell you what system. So, Mash Tarmen. Now that I just look around, find Mash Tarmen. Voila, Mash Tarmen. All right, Mash Tarmen has an EOL connection, so I can check the EOL time. Seven hours, fifty minutes. It's guaranteed gone at this point. I might as well just delete this. Detach. Gone. And I can just delete. Mash Tarmen's gone. Now to refresh, re-click, eh, no good Omar connect anymore to Dixie. Uh, let's try to Dixie. It says go through Sosh. Let's go find Sosh. Here's shop, Sosh. And I know I just got to go H to F to F2 to Sosh. What was I talking about? Sosh. Yeah, so if I want to go to Sosh, which is in FK2, F known sec 2, hub to F, to F2, F to F2, F2 to FK2, and now I'm in Sosh. Cool thing is, let's say I'm in, since these accounts are linked, let me relink my main. You can right click and set destination on things. Um, so if I am here in Hub and I'm ready to go to, uh, I guess, Blue Dixie, best route we have, I can right click, set destination. And voila, if you look right here, it sets destination. Being that I'm in somewhere else, it uh, clearly is a very shitty route, but nonetheless, it sets destination. Now let's say I was in Dodixie, and I want to come back through the way I uh, came. So for Dixie, I know Sosh. I can right click Sosh and set waypoint set destination as Sosh. So that's uh, a little feature there for navigating. You can set um, rally points. So everyone knows, let's not do a desktop though. Everyone knows where to go. So if we're like, oh, we got an op in F2, we're doing an eviction, or we're helping our buddies, or X, Y, and Z, 
well, it's the one that catches your eye the most, so that really helps people. Turn that off. If you're setting up a ratting group inside a C5 and you want to maintain mass on a hole and you want to alert people to that, you can right click, preserve mass, and that gives everyone a little warning. Um, red should be reserved for very hostile groups. It catches the eye, it warns people. If I catch one of my members ratting inside this hole, I'll be kind of salty at them. It's like, what are you doing, man? It's not a good idea. You can see here, some of these don't have the size put in. You can see whoever uh, did this chain put the side for small. Small and medium kind of need their size to be put into, but if you d omit it, it kind of indicates that it's a large hole. Um, the only exception to be very large groups that use carriers who need to know if they can breathe their carriers back and forth, so they might even want to know XL and large. That is Pathfinder, boys. Well, I hope this little tutorial helps you. I hope my walkthrough helped you this time, being that both screens were up. Fly safe, have a good day, and uh, don't get dead. Let's quote from Halo.